with a 300 watt motor, a 15 mile range and a top speed of 15.5 miles an hour. Is the Mega Wheels AL6 worth the price of admission? Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here. We're gonna find out today as we unbox this, put it together, take it for a spin, and then we're gonna grade it on fit form and function. That was perhaps the fastest assembly ever. These little scooters are so easy to put together. Basically, you put the uh, handle bar right up here, lock it down. You've got this part right here that screws in with just six screws and you're good to go. Everything was attached, everything was fine. Super, super easy. I gotta tell you, I love how they incorporate the LCD screen into the handlebar. That's nice, that is really nice. As far as what's in the box, well, you get your <laughs> You need one tool. It's a little Allen key right here. They give you an extra little bolt, which is nice. You have your owner's manual and you have the smallest charger I've ever seen in my life for a scooter or a bike. That's it right there. That's what you get. Let's talk about the features of the AL6 Eco Electric Scooter. As I said, we have a 300 watt motor, 21.6 volt, 10.2 amp hour battery. These are 10 inch tires. You have three speed modes, okay? This will come off, there we go. You can scan that code and include this in your app and you can make all kinds of adjustments on this, okay? In the app right here. This is your power button right there, which is nice. As I said, there's a 15.5 mile per hour top speed, 15 mile range, 220 pound max load, and they have a locking mode. So, when you go to the app, you can turn off your scooter. So if anybody tries to steal it, it's gonna make a sound and you're going to know, which is pretty, pretty cool. It has cruise control and, look at that, tail light and a beautifully integrated headlight. It's a new day, actually it's in the morning and I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna start my day off right with a quick little ride on the scooter from Mega Wheels, the A6L Eco, all 300 watts of power. We got the kickstand right here. Hopefully you guys can kind of see what's going on. It's difficult to actually film uh, scooter reviews because you don't get to see much. You really don't. I'll try to do what I can. But we've got the brake right here. You got a little bell. Get out of my way, people. Okay. And we have, <laughs> I don't think this has a suspension. We're gonna find out for sure. Okay, 10 inch tires, 300 watts. Come on. We have three modes. Here we go. Come on, little girl. I kind of, I do like, I hope you can see this, the blue of the LCD screen. That's nice. So we are in miles per hour right here. Let me see if I can adjust this because you're not going to see very much at all from this vantage point. I gotta move this down a little bit. We are in high, as you can see right there, 10 miles an hour. I'm trying to stand back so you can kind of see what's going on. 11 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour. I'm not expecting blazing speed on this thing. We'll test the brakes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, 15.5 is your top speed. It's quiet and you can really lay it down. That's good, I can have fun doing this. Woo, woo, woo. Here we go, 14, 15, very, very easy. You know what, it's a pretty comfortable ride. I mean, there's not much giving other than tires. But if you're looking for something inexpensive to tool around, or maybe go to class if you're a college student, money's tight, this might be something for you. This is the part of the test Ooh, she's coming in here hot. My neighbor there needs to slow down. Um, where we test the suspension. This road is terrible, like I always say. I've got some speed bumps. We're just gonna 
let the scooter go as fast as the scooter wants. This is 10 miles an hour. We're gonna kind of coast and hit the bumps. As you can see, the camera's shaking a little bit. We'll give her a little speed. Okay. I tell you what, I like the length of the board. I do like that. I think that's nice. I can kind of back up and I can move my feet wherever I want to. This is really rough right through here. Leave your knees bent. You're going to be fine. Give her a little power. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the terrible road. Here we go. It is dead silent. I can't hear anything on this scooter and the handlebars are a little thick. I like that, okay? It's just a straight bar. There's no curve or any kind of a design to it. It's just a straight bar with a big old handle attached to it. But the grips make it feel a little better. I mean, they're plastic grips, but that's nice. Okay, this is Torque Hill. This is where we try to make it. Lesser scooters have failed. Let's see how the A6L actually does. Can we make it up? We're going 10. As long as they don't have to step off. This is a 21.6, I think, volt battery. Come on. Five miles an hour. Four. Three. Come on. Oh, I got to step off. I can't do it. Okay, so we got to walk up the hill. We're going to count off for that. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. Now we got it, six miles an hour. Eight miles an hour. Okay. And if you look, there is enough room to put your feet like that. It's a pretty wide board. And going on flat surfaces, yeah, this is nice. This is a good cruising speed. This would be a good electric scooter to teach you how to ride an electric scooter and then once you get really good at it and you want a little more power and you want to go up in some good sized hills you trade this in you sell this one use the money towards you know one that's a little more powerful but it's maneuverable yeah okay Once again, silence. That's the one thing I keep coming back to on this. It's very, very quiet. And it'll hit 15 on a flat surface very easily. So that's, that's some good news. Very quickly, how does she fold up? Well, very, very easily. You have a little latch right here that comes up. This folds forward. The handlebar slides down into, there's a little cutout right here where this part of the handlebar will go you can take it look how light this thing is look at this you can take this anywhere you want to go absolutely and then when it's time to ride flip this out this comes up snap that in place and you're good to go time now to grade the a6l on fit form and function fit how it came out of the box ha easiest ever okay it was packed very very well basically you unfold it you insert this put these six screws in and you are good to go. So we're gonna give it an A. Form the way that the scooter looks. Well, I think it's a nice looking scooter. It is, I mean, it's all plastic. There's no designs on it other than a safety sticker here and you've got your mega wheels right here. I do like this. I like when they integrate, let me kind of put it this way for you. You've been watching this the whole time. When they integrate your LCD screen in to the handlebar and the stem right here, which is nice. You get a headlight, which is also integrated which is nice. So we're going to give it a B for form. Function, it needs power, all right? It needs more power. We're gonna give it a B for function, and then overall, we're going to give it a B. Price-wise, $399, there is a $100 discount, and so you can get this for $299, which is a great price if you are looking in to get into the electric world. You want a scooter to kind of tool around on and take it to class or just go have fun on or maybe give one as a gift. Yeah, the Mega Wheels is the one for you. It's a great introduction to the electric scooter life. 
it's quiet, it'll take you where you want to go, 15 mile range, it's not the longest range, 15.5 mile per hour top speed, not the highest top speed, but it is very, very inexpensive, okay? So save yourself some money if you don't know if you're really, really wanting to get into the electric scooters. Buy something like this, save money, and then if you want to turn around and flip it, use that money for something nicer. That's all you have to do, and you can get one that's more powerful, all right? Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I'm back with another electric bike review or electric scooter review, or of course, those car reviews where we put together cars. I still have several in the backyard that we are working on. So check those out. All right, have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.